Hi, thanks for buying the bark string. I will demonstrate how to use this bark string in very easy steps. Step one is how to unwind the bark string. The first thing is you need to make sure that one end of the hook is secured to the plastic. And then what you do is you pull the ring and then you start unwinding all the way till you reach the end. And this is the same way you should be storing the bark string. So you need to make sure the beads are all next to each other and they are next to the main hook. The main hook is secured to the plastic and then you wind it again all the way till you reach the slit where you can secure the other side next to the ring. The next step is to secure the hook to a wall or a doorknob. The best option is to find a wall hook like this and stick it to a blank wall with a double stick tape. We prefer blank wall so the beads become very visible. And make sure the string is about eye level. If you don't happen to have these hooks, you can use another key ring like this and secure it to the hook and then slide it inside a door handle. Next step is hold the hook with one hand and then start sliding the beads with your other hand. The best spacing is between 14 to 16 inches. And then secure the hook to the wall mount, which is around eye level and then stretch the cord all the way towards your nose. Starting with the beads next to the wall mount, you can start your first exercise by pulling the ring towards your nose and focusing on the farthest bead. Your eyes will start seeing illusion and it will, it will look like as if the string is splitting into two strings and that's fine since you are focusing on a far object and the other part of the string is next to your nose. And then you can move from the farthest bead to the middle bead and then the closest bead. Try to make the bead look as one bead as you are changing your focus from one bead to another. Next, we need to change the position of the beads, slide into the middle, and this can be easily done by pulling one end of the cord up until you reach the middle and repeat the exercise. Focus on the farthest bead and you need to see one bead only and then the illusion will look like as if the other beads are doubled. So the first bead will look doubled, the middle bead will look doubled and then the farthest bead should look as one bead. The string will split into two strings and they will meet at the bead where you're converging. When you move to the middle bead, the double string illusion will look like as if the strings are forming an X shape and they meet at the middle bead. So the middle bead is one bead and all the other beads are doubled. Then step three, you can move the beads all the way towards your nose. While looking at the farthest bead, the middle and the closest bead will be doubled. When you move to the middle bead, the illusion will look like as if the string is double, but it is forming an X shape and it meets at the middle bead. And the farthest and the closest beads are doubled. When you move to the closest bead, all the other beads are doubled and the string is forming a V shape, starting from your nose as one string, one bead, and then it splits and the other beads are doubled. And then you can change the distance between the beads or you can change or keep sliding the beads back and forth and practice at different distances. When you're done with the exercise, make sure you slide the beads all the way towards the hook to store the rock string. And then after you slide the beads all the way up towards the hook, you can secure it to the plastic and then start widening all the way up until you reach the end of the rope. And when you reach the end, make sure you secure the string in the slit. And this is how you store the rock string. Thanks for buying again. If you have any question, reach out.